<laughs> it's fall and I had to get another mug. <laughs> it's got mushrooms and cats. It's the cutest. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca. Today I am going to give you a demonstration of corrector with concealer, one eye high end, one eye drugstore. Because I need to know is it worth it to spend about $70 for, let's say, Natasha Denona? This is her corrector, and then this is the concealer, of which I do love. I really enjoy this concealer. Or use the e.l.f. corrector or, and or Lottie London brightener. Uh, and the Catrice True Skin Concealer, which you can get on Amazon for, I think, $7. Maybe it's $10. I always forget prices, but you get the drift. Right now, I am wearing my Dermatology Physical Sunblock um, that I love. It's tinted. It's mineral. You can't even really see it. Like, it's tinted, but clearly, <laughs> I'm not <clears throat> perfected, right? So, let's start with Natasha Denona. There is a variety of tones for the correctors, and I thought I was gonna get something a little more kind of orange, kind of peach for my dark circles, but uh, I'll just go with this. I am gonna apply it directly. Sometimes I don't. In this case, I will. I'm gonna just go right there. Um, I find concealer applies best applying it on the back of your hand first and then using a brush or sponge to apply it to your face. But it's okay, we can, yeah. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty brush to just blend that in. I'm keeping the color corrector concentrated on only the area I want corrected. This is not a product that goes your entire under eye because my theory is that more product just means more potential to crease, look crepey, so really select the area where you wanna put your product. Okay, uh, obviously that looks better. <laughs> that looks better than where we started. So we have the e.l.f., this is the peach. So uh, orange is a great, anything orange base, red base for darker skins with very um, dark, kind of, you know, the dark uh, gray, ashy under eyes. Um, or, oh, look at that, I did a little more. I got a little excited while I was talking, so don't do, do as I say, not as I do. Um, but orange is really great to offset gray or blue, but yellow can work too. So this is very affordable. It doesn't have a lot of coverage. I feel like this has a lot of coverage. This one does not. Clearly this one is doing just a better job of like covering that area. Now we could, we could put another product over the top and still come under the price tag of the Natasha Denona with this Lottie London brightener. It's kind of a tacky product. I'm gonna just set it right here, just to see. Okay, you guys, just let's just 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 play with me here, right? Okay. I mean, maybe I should have gone right here because that is. I am so dark there. That is that is hereditary. All my relatives, I rem uh, my dad, and I remember looking at my grandma when I was like nine years old, just looking at how purple. <laughs> Let's wear. She did not wear any makeup. Oh, okay. She was a very natural woman. Um, my mom, my mom doesn't have it. Yeah. Concealer. So Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I have shade N3. This is a great, this is a great concealer. It is a doe foot. It has a good amount of coverage. It isn't really matte, but it's not terribly luminous. It's just a nice balance, okay? I am gonna put this on the back of my hand. Let's see how the finish and shade compares to the Catrice. This is shade 
W, uh, 5W. Okay, so you can see this is Catrice and this is Natasha Denona. And it's got almost a more red undertone anyway. Uh, this one has definitely got more gold. Let's go over, I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona first. That's why I felt when I purchased these two products, I was like, you know, I don't think it's necessary to get both. The Natasha Denona corrector could be a concealer, depending on the shade that works for you. And the concealer, I think, has enough coverage that you don't really need a corrector, but that's, you know. Do I have residue here? So, and you can go, I might add more concealer in other parts too, but right now, so do you see how that is just like a nice, really pretty, pretty application? Okay, now we go in with the Catrice. This is the True Skin. This is supposed to be a high cover concealer. It is hyaluronic acid and it claims to be waterproof. So it's, I, I picked it because of its good coverage and it's kind of claims that, and also it's very popular and very affordable. So I think it's popular, right? I think channels I watch really were enjoying it. I think Taylor Margaret really likes it. I think Jen Phelps really likes it. That's a lovely, lovely finish. I, I think that that looks really nice. I am gonna zoom you in and you can see for yourself, I do not do filters. <laughs> you can watch this in HD. You can see all my little veins, <laughs> probably little milia <laughs> spots. <sighs> well, I like both sides, I really do. So I'm gonna put this up on the screen, the cost of each <laughs> side and uh, yeah. I think they both look good. Now I'm going to go in and just do a little spot conceal instead of foundation. And then you can see, and I'll put on uh, my full face. And then we can decide after a few hours how things are wearing, right? I think the Natasha Denona has a bit of a scent. Sometimes I think the soap I used, my, my brush soap, when I do, although that's, no, I don't think that's true. No, it's the, it's the cleaner. Sometimes when I use spray on a brush cleaner, the, uh, my brushes can kind of pick up that scent for a while, even after a washing, and, um, I think that's what I think that's what I'm smelling. Yeah. No smell for Catrice. And then no, this does have a scent. This has um cucumber. It's got like a, a hint of cucumber. There is probably something in there to aid in the hydration, right? Right now I cannot see a difference. I truly, truly cannot. I will say that Catrice doesn't have as many shade options. And I think that is what goes into purchasing makeup, uh, what makes purchasing makeup such a personal journey. Because when you're looking for uh, preference can be where it's manufactured, how many shades it comes in, who even the CEO or founder is. Um, so uh, is it cruelty-free? Is it vegan? 
Um, what kind of packaging do they, you know, there's so many things that go in. So I can't make that decision for you. Um, I'm here to demonstrate so that you can make those decisions based on what you see things look like on me and what I tell you um, I'm experiencing. So yeah, and I think that that is sometimes the case is somebody will be glad to pay more money because they know that they're gonna get a shade match or they know that company is more inclusive to all skin tones. And um, I am just putting that out there because I feel like there is a, a comment in, in both, like somebody might say, oh, you show high-end things. Yeah, I do, because sometimes there are no other shade categories for a darker a melanin skin tone. <laughs> or how come you only show affordable <laughs> products that have like three shades? <laughs> okay, well then, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you, you, see, you see what I'm getting at? Okay, before this gets all creased up, I'm going to use Wayne Goss's powder. I gotta say, this is not, it's not terribly expensive, if you ask me. I don't, I think Wayne Goss is powder for being affordable on the Beautylish website. I mean, sorry. I think the Wayne Goss powder for being on the Beautylish website um, and, you know, compared to, I mean, I consider him a, a luxury, a luxury cosmetic brand and uh, yeah. I think it's very affordable and I think it's talc free. Is it talc free? I gotta check. I didn't put anything on my forehead. I think that's because I plan on wearing my bangs down today. <laughs> it's like, why bother? I'll just throw on some, some bronzer. Okay. Okay, for fun, I'm gonna use this new Essence eye tint. Ah, oh, oh. you know what gets me excited is a liquid eyeshadow that is this kind of shade. Something very rich and woo. Oh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Hang on, am I excited? It's a little more, I feel like it has a bit of a gray, but it's a nice, very nice metal. Let's see here. Ooh, little goes a long way. Mm-hmm. And does it look more blue to you? I thought it had a little bit more of a reddish metallic underneath, but I, I think there's a little bit more gray. Yeah, look at that. Interesting. I will list the shades underneath. Oh, that's so pretty. This one has a beautiful ivory. Oh, that's pretty. I need to use the uh, the one size um, other cream shadow that's kind of reddish, like like the color in my shirt. Okay. I've got this right here. I'm just doing a little right there. Oh, that's pretty. That's kind of what I thought the essence was going to look like.
I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back. Okay, my makeup is on. Uh, here's the funny, uh, funny thing of what's happening right now. Uh, our power went out, which is fine. I have my camera and my microphone, but my studio lights that I was applying this look with <laughs> are not powered up, but that's okay. I am in front of a window. It is very, very bright out. So you can see what is happening with my finished finished face. Oh, I'm why am I crouching? Just a second. I can. Okay, so here's the Natasha Denona side. And then here is the Catrice side. They both look good. They both look equally good to me in my mirror. I think the light, I think my the corner of my room right here is a little darker um, than <laughs> So yeah, so maybe in a few hours, hopefully power will be stored in the neighborhood and um, I can give you like a six or eight hour uh, so you can see how this really works. But all in all, my conclusion is uh, go for what works best for you and your budget. I think that this is great on the drugstore side and I and I think this is great too um, so and like I said shade manufacturer preference all of that all of that plays in but uh, if you're looking for something more affordable don't feel like you have to spend a lot of money for concealer and corrector oh, you guys you guys look how cool this is this is, let's see here. I did this at 10.30, is 7.30. So, is that really nine hours? I can't tell the difference. I cannot tell the difference between the sides. Can you? Yeah. So again, it just proves you can find good products everywhere. <laughs> All right, I know I look a little rough. It's been a long day. <laughs> I got up at 4 a.m. to take Emma to the airport because she's going to a friend's wedding this weekend. <sighs> so I'm, I'm tired. Um, eyeshadow is doing good too. Look at that. Look at that eyeshadow. Huh? Huh? Okay, time for jammies. Thank you so much for watching. If this was fun and you like this kind of content, I promise I'm here. I'm here for it. Click the subscribe button. I upload on a weekly basis, sometimes a couple times a week. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks so much for watching. Take care, bye.